the last couple of months um, of my life has been something to talk about, like something for the books. And I've had several aha moments of come to Jesus meetings with myself, um, literally talking to myself, talking myself down off of, you know, uh, emotional ledges, roller coasters, and all of that. So what I would like to talk about today is merely the fact that sometimes in um, things, we lose ourselves. We may lose ourselves at work, you know, getting things done, being the overachiever. We may lose, you know, ourselves and our children in crafts, tasks, but we can also sit, uh, lose ourselves in love and in relationship. And with that, uh, what that may look like is not being able to make decisions and decide and make moves and find your happiness outside of your partner. Um, just speaking from experience, that can come from different voids that you may have in your life. Like you may not, you know, know how to find your own happiness. You may not know how to navigate, you know, where to start and where to begin that process, right? Um, but in losing yourself in relationship, you will start to uh, be the person that causes problems and issues and, and it'll always be a thing. It'll always be something. So some of the things that I have done um, for myself in love and just in friendship is trying to find out the things that make me happy. So that means going on an investigative, exploratory um, adventures with myself, um, trying new things, you know, glass blowing, um, archery, you know, axe throwing, uh, um, you know, a wine tasting, whatever, horseback riding, whatever it is um, that I have not done, you know, now that I'm 40 years old, I think I have to find a new set of interests and, interest and likes and, you know, different things that may appeal to me to see, is this something, you know, that I would even enjoy doing? Um, it can be easy in relationships and love to pick up the things that your partner wants to do. But the truth of the matter is, is you may not enjoy some of the things that they enjoy, but it doesn't mean that you're not compatible. It doesn't mean that, you know, you guys' love is not real. But what it means is you can have an independent life outside of that partner. And it may be uncomfortable um, finding that place the conversation that one person may have with the other may not be a comfortable one, but I feel like a conversation is due. So it's a disservice. If I decide that uh, I need some me time and I need to do some self-care and some self-love, I think it's a disservice to the other person that I'm dating if I don't have that conversation with them. So a conversation is absolutely due, right? Um, but once you have the conversation and you kind of sit with that, you know, it may be disappointing, it may be hurtful, um, it just, it may be a lot of things. You may go through a lot of things, but all I, you know, stop by to say today is that the work can be done. It can absolutely be done for you to just explore the things that you like, have an identity outside of, you know, your partner, for you guys not to have the same friends, for you not to have, you know, meetups and gatherings and all that stuff together, but you can still come together in love. You can still respect that person as an individual. They can respect you as an individual and you can, you can meet in the middle. Like there's nothing like having an understanding of who you are and also understanding that person and having love and compassion for j their differences and just who they are. So I just want you to be encouraged, continue to elevate. Um, maybe this video, you know, will help someone because it absolutely helped me during these last few months experiencing some of the things that I have gone through. Be well, continue to elevate.